Hello, and welcome to this second session of Making Sense of Google Analytics. In this session, we're going to take the website conversions that we defined in the first session and make sure that Google Analytics is tracking those as goals. So in this session, I uh, have instructions on how to set up the three different types of goals. Uh, if you're technically inclined, uh, you can use the instructions. If not, you can send them to your website administrator. And uh, there's complete instructions on how to set up these goals, how to make sure that you're tracking those successful website visits, those conversions and micro-conversions as goals in Google Analytics. Now, a lot of people ask at this point, why do I want to track my online donations or uh, the things that I sell online, any of these e-commerce transactions? I already know that data. I'm already tracking that in my donation software or my e-commerce software. Why do I also want to track it in Google Analytics? Uh, it's a really common question, and it's a pretty good one. Uh, and there's a good answer, I think. Yes, you know how many uh, donations you got last month and last year, or how many things you sold online. But what you don't know is where those people came from, where those visitors came from. What were they doing before they got to your site? What did they do on your site before they donated? Uh, did they come to your site from an email you sent out, or something you tweeted, or an ad that you ran? Google Analytics is uh, the software that you can tell you that. Your e-commerce or your uh, donation software can't really tell you that. And once you know where these people came from, it gives you really uh, good advice on how to get more of those uh, website conversions. So I hope you find this session on tracking uh, conversions as goals in Google Analytics uh, to be useful. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask them at the bottom of the page in the comments section. And uh, again, thanks for coming by.